All right, you guys, this lesson is on uh, customary units of liquid volume. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. Okay, so there's our common core strand. Our essential question is how can we use models uh, to compare customary units of liquid volume? So I have a couple of examples here. Uh, so here we go. So liquid volume is the same measure uh, of the space uh, that liquid occupies. So for example, if you had a glass so uh, where you'd fill it up with water inside, that would be called your liquid volume your water inside. So some basic units for measuring liquid uh, volume are gallons, uh, half gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. Okay, so one cup equals eight fluid ounces. Okay, two, uh, one pint equals two cups right there. And one quart equals uh, four cups right there. Okay, so there's one measurement. And, and this is kind of hard to see. I'll zoom in on a little bit so you can see what's going on. So the bar below show, uh, models the relationship among uh, some units of liquid volume. The largest units are gallons and the smallest unit are fluid ounces. Okay, so eight fluid ounces equals a cup. Okay, let me zoom in right here. We'll zoom in on um, that little area right over here. Okay, so let me zoom in. There it is right there. So, so eight fluid ounces equals a cup. Two cups equal a pint. Two pints or four cups equals a quart. Okay, and then two quarts equals a half a gallon. All right, so then uh, two half gallon or four quarts right here is going to equal the one gallon, okay, or two half gallons on that, okay. So uh, describe patterns in uh, the units of liquid volume, okay. So uh, going from the cups to the gallons, each uh, unit is two times as much as the next smaller unit right here. So can you see going from quarts um, um, quarts to gallons right here? So uh, each unit, so here's a quart, it is twice the, the pints right here, and each pint is twice the cups right there. So uh, each unit is two times as much as the next smallest unit right there. Okay, so, and then um, a half gallon is twice uh, the quarts right here, and the gallon is twice the half gallons. So each unit going down is twice the unit below it, okay? So a half gallon is twice, it takes two quarts to make up a half gallon. All right, uh, so uh, how does the size of a gallon compare to the size of a quart? Okay, so here we'll go ahead and draw two bars that represent this relationship. One bar will show uh, gallons and the other bar will show quarts. Okay, so there we are. So there's um, uh, two, two bars right here. This bar represents the gallon and this bar represents, you know, this is a gallon also because it's just as big as this one, but there's four quarts in a gallon. So we divided it up into four equal parts right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and shade one gallon. I'll shade the whole gallon and shade one of the quarts. Okay, so there they are right there. All right, so uh, compare the size of one gallon to one quart. Well, it's pretty easy with that picture right there. Uh, one gallon is how many times as much as a quart? Well, this gallon right here takes up four of these guys right here, so it's four times as much as a quart. Okay, so let's see. So uh, John and Julie need to make some uh, three gallons. Sorry, I'm moving in my chair right here. Uh, need to make three gallons of fruit punch in the family picnic. They have pow uh, a powder mix that makes 350 fluid ounces of punch. How can they decide if they have enough uh, powder mix? Okay, so they have an, um, to make 350 fluid ounces and we need to make three gallons. So we basically need to figure out how many fluid ounces are in the gallons here. So step one, we're going to use the model that we just uh, showed here to help us find the relationship between gallons and fluid ounces. Okay, so I just moved that up there. Here's that model right there. So we're going to uh, show the relationship between uh, gallons, which is this whole thing on top, and the fluid ounces that right down here. Okay, so here we go. So one gallon equals how many cups? Okay. How many cups are in a gallon right here? So here's one gallon right here, and then here's the cups to go up. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we need sixteen cups that makes one gallon. And one gallon, or I'm sorry, one cup, how much does a cup make in fluid ounces? It equals eight fluid ounces right there, okay? So one gallon is going to be 16 cups times 8 fluid ounces, and then 16 times uh, 8 is 128, okay? I know 8 times 8 is 64, so if I double that, because 16 is double 8, uh, double 64, we get 128 right there. Okay, so uh, let's make a table that relates gallons and fluid ounces. 
All right, so here's a table right here. So one gallon equals 128 fluid ounces. So two gallons is going to be 128 times, um, uh, it's going to be two gallons times 128 because each gallon is 128. So if I just double that, that's 256. And then three gallons times 128, we can either uh, multiply 128 times three or just add uh, another 128 to that 256 and we get 384. All right, so compare uh, the 350 fluid ounces that John and Julie need in the three gallons right here. So here we go. So we're going to think, uh, we're going to write uh, 350 fluid ounces just goes right here. And the three gallons, I think it was uh, it was 384 fluid ounces right there. So we're going to uh, write a less than or greater than, and definitely 350 is less than 384. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let me put that back. Okay, so I'm going to put the less than in between there. All right, and then let's answer the question. John and Julie have enough mix to make 350 fluid ounces. They need to make three gallons of fruit punch. So 350 fluid ounces is, uh, here's three gallons right here. 350 fluid ounces is less than three gallons. So, so John and Julie uh, will not have enough, um, uh, enough mix to make three gallons of fruit punch right there. All right, you guys, I hope that helps. Take care.